Carly, thank you. Mask protocol, also a key topic at the Southwest Allen County School Board meeting. And tonight, members voted to pretty much keep things the same as they are right now, but with a twist. And Four Wings NBC reporter Tyler Brummett was at tonight's meeting. He joins me live in the studio with that part of our team coverage. Tyler? Well, Linda, certainly it was a big meeting. In case parents haven't heard yet, masks will still be recommended and not required in Southwest Allen buildings for students and staff. Board members also approved a plan that they hope would allow students and staff to hopefully avoid contact tracing. Tonight's meeting, tense at times. Are we waiting while our pediatric hospitalizations climb for you to make the right decision? It's dividing us. It's creating conflict, isn't it? You can all agree to that. And what are they doing? They're imposing control. Why? I don't know. Before the vote was taken on mask protocols, some parents shouted during the meeting, saying they're against forcing their children to wear a mask in school. In fact, hundreds of parents on both sides of the issue attending tonight's meeting to voice their opinions. The meeting had to be moved to the district's transportation office because the crowd was larger than normal. In the end, so many people showed up, they ran out of chairs. Initially, Superintendent Park Gender presented a plan that would have required masks. But that's when parents against that idea spoke up. Some held signs against a mask mandate, while others held signs supporting one. A board member then presented a plan that was approved tonight. That plan requires both the person testing positive and any close contacts to wear a mask. But officials say they have to look into the legality of that kind of move. I'm confused a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what it does for us at this point because I'm not sure it takes kids out of the quarantine. There are a lot of uh, things that have to be thought through in terms of uh, how do you track this. It's a lot different in kindergarten, first grade, than it would be in a high school or secondary middle school environment. For her. Several parents outspoken tonight. One of them, Tracy Starn. She has a daughter in fourth grade at Lafayette Meadows Elementary. Starn tells me if there was a mask mandate in place, she would have pulled her daughter from school. She also tells me she thinks that this plan is a good compromise. I'm actually very happy with the result. I feel like it's a fair um, assessment and allows parents like me with a special needs child to decide for our children what is best. My daughter cannot learn with a mask on. Her grades are suffering. Now the motion that was passed tonight does not have a start date right now. Gender says if the contact tracing measure is struck down at the state level, Linda, he will talk with board members to decide those next steps. Tyler, thanks for all that information tonight.